What's up, wrestling fan? Big Vice here, and join us, Steve Weiser. And we're going to talk about NXT live in Cleveland. Okay, I didn't get a lot of footage because there was a literally four guys on each end of the ring looking up in the crowd, making sure that nobody was videotaping. I've been to hundreds of events, and I've recorded a lot of events, and nobody ever really gave a damn. But for some reason, they was not allowing it this night. Which is fine with me, whatever. I got a little bit of footage, but it's basically like jobber matches. At least you get to see what the venue looks like and uh, watch a little bit of it. Anyways, I'm going to go over each match and who wrestled, who won, and I'm going to rate each match out of 10. Let you know how I felt about it. Okay? So let's get it started. Uh, Cassius Ono versus Connor Reese was the first match to open up the night. I gave the match a 3 out of 10. Cassius Ono picked up the win. Uh, you could tell they just recently started working with each other they didn't really know what their spots were but they they made it work so three out of ten on that one second match was patrick clark versus alistair black patrick clark was one of the contestants on tough enough uh, a few years back whatever uh, i don't really care for his gimmick uh alistair black used to go by the name of tommy end uh it was a it was a decent match three out of ten um um alistair black picked up the win but it, it was all right, whatever. Moving on to the third match was Nikki Cross versus a newcomer by the name of Macy Estrella. Uh, she came out with like American American flag. I didn't really care for her gimmick, whatever. I was really looking forward to watching Nikki Cross live. And she didn't disappoint. She did a great job. But uh, the Macy Estrella, she's new. You can clearly tell. But it's okay. Good to go. Uh, then after that, No Way Jose came out. And uh, he was talking about how he wanted to party with Cleveland, and he didn't have a match that night. And uh, it, it was it was okay, whatever. But then the Drifter came out with a lucha mask on, calling himself the Wanderer. Uh, okay, whatever. Anyways, ultimately uh, the Wanderer started playing a song on his guitar, that, talking about how Cleveland sucked, which he totally ripped from The Rock. The Rock already did it. Just so you know, The Rock already did a song called Cleveland Totally Sucks. Anyways, it led to a match. No Way Jose beat him. Gave the match a 5 out of 10. It was okay. I like No Way Jose. Good job. Uh, then uh, after that, Cian Elmas came out. I love Cian Elmas. I think he's a great wrestler. Okay, He came out and uh, with a minimal pop, unfortunately. But uh, he came out. Anyways, after his music was done... It was like silence for, I bet, 30 seconds, which felt like two minutes, seriously. And I was like, who in the world is he wrestling, you know? And then I could understand what they were doing, because Shinsuke's music came on, the crowd popped, and uh, everybody went bananas, including myself. And uh, they had a 10 out of 10 match. Shinsuke picked up the win, and what a match it was. If you haven't seen Shinsuke Nakamura live, you need to. The guy is incredible. Incredible. Can't wait till he makes it to the main roster. He doesn't have to say a word to have that much charisma. It, it's a beautiful thing. Shinsuke Nakamura, beautiful. That's the main reason I went, honestly. Him and uh, Asuka. We're going to get to that in a little bit. After that match was over, NXT, they always do like a 15, 20-minute intermission so people can uh, get snacks, drinks, whatnot, kind of wind down a little bit. After that was over, three of the main event matches. The first main event match was DIY, which is Tommaso Ciampa and the hometown boy Johnny Gargano taking on Sanity. Unfortunately, Eric Young didn't wrestle. It was uh, Alexander Wolf and Big Damo. Uh, 10 out of 10 match. Awesome match. All kinds of cool spots. Uh, near falls. Beautiful. And maybe it's biased because uh, Johnny Gargano's a uh, Local boy, his family was there, and everything he did, he got a pop for. But, okay, that's, that's cool. It was still a great match nonetheless. After that was the women's championship match between Asuka, my girl Asuka, versus Liv Morgan. And uh, I, I got to see Asuka, her first NXT match in Cleveland, when she took on uh, Emma. And she kicked Emma's head off, and, she, and Emma got injured. They threw the cross up on her. I don't know if you guys heard about that. I was there at night. Uh, this this match was nothing like that. Emma is a, is a good wrestler, and Liv Morgan not so much. So Asuka had what she had to work with. And nothing against Liv Morgan. She's still new. She's learning. And she tries to go a little too fast. And uh, she's 
what, whatever the case may be. I gave it an 8 out of 10. Asuka, of course, picks up the win here. And uh, it, it was still cool to see Asuka live. The last match of the night was the glorious Bobby Roode against the perfect 10, Ty Dillinger. Both of them got awesome pops. Both their entrances were awesome. Uh, of course, Bobby Roode picks up the win here, and it's because uh, Eric Young's music comes on, Sanity's music. Eric Young comes out, and uh, with the distraction, uh, Bobby Roode hits him with the glorious bomb, gets the, gets the pin. After that, Eric Young comes down to the ring, and him and uh, Bobby Roode, two NXT originals, which is kind of cool, uh, beating up. Ty Dillinger and everybody's like, who's who's gonna come out? Who? 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 Who's gonna come out to help the perfect ten? And guess who it was? Shinsuke Nakamura. Shinsuke's music comes on, the crowd pops, and uh down he comes and it clears the ring out. Okay. So it's just Ty Dillinger and, and uh Shinsuke in the ring. Uh after that, after it's all over with, uh Ty Dillinger grabs a microphone. He calls DIY out because he you know uh, uh, Johnny Gargano's family's there. He calls DIY out, and uh, he proceeds to tell them how they are the future of tag team wrestling, uh, which was pretty cool. And then he turns to Shinsuke and says, "Shinsuke, you are my favorite wrestler," which was pretty cool. And then he it was kind of like a swan song for him, like he's about to go to the main roster. And then off he went. He let uh, Shinsuke have his moment. And then Shinsuke left and let DIY have their moment with the crowd and uh, Johnny Gargano with his uh, family. And that was the end of the night. And what a night it was. A beautiful, beautiful show. Anyways, I'm going to show you the, the footage I got. I've been rambling for almost seven minutes now. I'm sure you're tired of hearing me. So check out this footage and enjoy. Big Vice is out. <laughs> I'm so cold. Cold in the in the sea. Uh, good old Cleveland. It's fucking cold out here. Like an event where it's not freezing. What did you do? I didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's cool. It's got Under the Giant on there. HBK, Lita, Rock, Flair, and Kane. Okay. I gotta wait for Heather. If you guys want to find a spot, we'll come find you. Feel like to be on camera, right? <laughs> Hey Ben! Ben! They got freaking chairs over there! Yeah, but I bet you they're standing in standing camp. Oh, okay. This is just for yeah. Here we are. Oh, hey, here we are. You know what you're Wherever you guys want to go. I mean, we can go right here if you want. Where? I mean, we can go here, there. I mean, here's a good, good view everywhere. It's up to you guys. Yes, sir. NXT Cleveland. All right. About to get this thing started.